guys, if you guys are new here, my name is Jess and welcome to another video. As you guys can tell by today's title, I'm going to be trying Meta Verified. So Meta basically owns Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook. This is no way, shape, or form sponsored, but I wanted to try it and let you guys know my experiences. But anyway, I have talked to a few friends that are also like in marketing. So they said this would be a great idea if you guys are micro-influencers, trying to build your brand, pushing your content out there this would be a great way to subscribe and actually get the blue check mark and anyway I wanted to try it also I don't want my Instagram taken down again so I think it's good for me to not get it taken down so they know that I'm a real person because it was mistakenly taken down last time I thought it was pretty cool that you get this blue check mark and that's what it looks like I'll show you on the screen actually I took a screenshot yes but anyway in the last 24 hours I had a brand message me saying that they wanted to send my content in for their marketing team which I am super excited. Hopefully they get back to me. I will update you guys on how that goes and I will share it with you when they do use my content. Yeah, I just want to drink tequila with my friends. like it gets more traction to your page and more people are interested. I went viral on reels a few times so I can't tell you if it works for my reels or not because I went viral even without the blue check mark but I think it's pretty cool to have it and yeah like I said this is not sponsored. Also I feel like if you're messaging like other verified accounts like you'll have more credibility and more people are actually wanting to talk to you if that makes sense. I just feel like it's more like a genuine thing that they feel like you're a genuine person if you're verified too. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. But I will also update you guys if I get more attraction to my page which this month is a little bit lower than last month's because last month like a few of my reels like I said already blew up but also my Instagram is probably different from your Instagram I know that some people's Instagram don't have the same features and some people have the features and some people don't have the features I don't even know I think that needs to be a little updated because I remember some of my friends would say like how do you get the emoji like on the bottom instead of just like tapping and liking a message and I can switch the emojis some of my friends can't switch the emojis so I don't know but I will let you know if anything happens or I don't know if I like it or not and if I want to keep going with this so I will check back next week it's been a little bit over a week and a half that I have tried Meta Verified and so far I have noticed that I gained more followers dashboard and I have noticed messaging brands through Instagram to like collaborate and some of them have said yes. A lot of them do reply back to me. I know that like some of them haven't seen my story like when I tagged them and then now that I reached out to them they replied and maybe that has something to do with it being verified. I don't know. Okay, I totally forgot to come back and update you guys. Ignore this band-aid. I tried to hang up my portrait frame thing, my DIY, and it kind of cut me because it started to fall. It cut my finger. But anyway, it turned out very good. If you guys haven't seen the video already, head over to my Instagram or I'll post a shorts. I'll probably post the shorts for it. Okay, this is like week three kind of of being verified. Um, so far, my following has been staying pretty like consistent. Like it hasn't like gone up a lot. But I did gain a few more followers. I feel like maybe because of me posting my reels and just being consistent on that. So I don't know. Also, Instagram won't be taking down my account anytime soon because it's verified. So I don't have to worry about that either. I have noticed that my reels have been getting more than 10,000 views, which is good because normally I get like 1,000 to like 2,000 and then it started going up more like recently. So it's been a few weeks now and I have tried Meta Verified for a month and then I unsubscribed from it and then I tried to like change my name to just Jess but that didn't work out so I, had to, I changed my main name to Jess Mock and then when I tried to resubscribe it said that I couldn't change my name again so I had to wait two weeks and I got it back so the reason why I got 
it back because I feel like the engagement when I had Meta Verified was a little better because then like not that I'm trying to like tell everyone that I am verified but like I am verified through Meta by subscribing so I am very like transparent about like just I am verified through the Meta Verified not verified because I'm verified but I also heard from someone else now you have to subscribe to Meta Verified instead of like getting the verification through Instagram and the people who have already gotten the verification are basically just grandfathered into it but I don't know honestly because I don't know much about it but also I have noticed that the engagement is a lot better when I had Meta Verified so something to think about if you guys are planning on subscribing to it just because it does give you more engagement and I feel like as a, I wouldn't say like a marketing expert but like as someone who is trying to use marketing techniques for their page i would prefer to use metaver does that make sense i hope that makes sense but anyway what else did i have to say and you have to unsubscribe and then try to resubscribe if you want to change your name but also your name has to match like your id driver's license whatever you have and i think i don't know it's kind of a lot like i said i really like it just because it gives me more engagement. Let me screenshot. So I have noticed that ever since I unsubscribed from Meta Verified, the following, I have lost a few followers. My target audience are women, so it's 88% women and 11% men. My target audience is not men, so that's a good thing. Engagement is not so great right now because I did, at one point, my reels did blow up when I wasn't verified, and my, did, my reels did go to like 2.1 million, and then it said that my account reached like six million people or something like that four million five million i don't even remember the number and everything blew up and now that my engagement isn't as high as before i don't know what happened i guess social media is weird honestly these are my thoughts of what i think of meta verified and i would continue subscribing as a content creator influencer whatever your title is it's totally up to you i would personally get it but i hope this was helpful so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like this video i'm pretty sure that elements as well so like and subscribe to my youtube bestie and let me know your thoughts on what you think of meta verified i honestly think it's a good idea to have just because like i am a content creator and i create content on social media and then promoting like my discount codes that I have and so anyway I need to post a few things on my story so if you guys haven't already follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok follow me on don't forget to subscribe to my channel I know I haven't been the most active in my comment section here but I'm very active on like Instagram and TikTok so come say hi anyway so I hope you guys have a lovely day or a lovely night whenever or wherever you guys are watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.